All right, welcome back everyone to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. We're in a different spot now. Things have happened. Poor Mike Meekins. We gotta help him. Because <laughs> that poor boy can't help himself. It's up to us. Anyway, the Wolfman gave us the boot. So now we're, we're over here trying to figure out what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do, to be honest. I think we're in a, uh, we're in a pickle. Ugh. Chased out like a pair of peasants. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you piss off the wolfman. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Kay? What is it, darling? There's something even thieves should never steal. Do you know what that is? Uh, people's underwear? No. You really shouldn't steal anything. However, I'll bite. What shouldn't a thief steal? A life. It's too heavy of a burden on your soul to get away with, ever. That's probably very good advice. That's something we can agree on. Well said, Kay. No matter what we may try, murder is the one crime that can never truly be hidden. And I intend to prove that by my own hands. When I apprehend the murder myself. Oh, Edgeworth is determined. He's not going to let this slip. I think I think his ego was a little bit damaged. I think his pride was kind of knocked out. That's probably partially why. Also because he's doing a favor for his friend. All right, I'm going to work extra hard to be a good assistant. Let's go. I still never said she could be my assistant. Well, it's too late now. I'm just going to drop the issue. I mean, what else are we going to do? The first thing we should do is locate the real scene of the murder. Right, because we determined pretty much nothing happened in the last scene that we were in, except for some footprints and things, and the body was dropped off. <clears throat> Excuse me, my goodness, I think that was over, but guess what, it's not. Mr. Edgeworth. What's up, Gumshoe, what's wrong? Detective Gumshoe. Mr. Edgeworth, the stadium. Hurry, sir. <gasps> this piano remix. Oh my god. It's, it's so good. I love it! What's going on? This is supposed to be Hush Hush, but they found a witness at the stadium. A witness? You, what did we tell you about leaving your assigned post? Oh shit, Gumshoe got in trouble just to tell us that information. Oh, he's such a good friend. Ah, uh, the jig is up. Oh no, he's gonna get in trouble. Mr. Edgeworth, remember, I'm always rooting for you, so go get him, sir. Oh my god, Gumshoe's like the truest friend ever. Those detectives sure look like they're enjoying themselves. It's not all fun and games, Kay. Now then, let's head to the stadium and meet this witness. Yeah, let's do it. I wonder who it could be. Well, we're gonna find out. All right, 1.42 p.m. There's the little pink car right there. Belongs to the pink badger. That's kind of cute. I thought there was a witness here. There's like no one here. Isn't this supposed to be a theme park? Maybe they cleared it out. I wonder where everyone is. Huh. Yeah, I don't see anyone. Mr. Edgeworth? I don't know who that is. Who's that? Hello? <gasps> oh, oh! Emma! Emma, that's you, isn't it? It has to be. Girl, I like your hat. What's going on, girl? I have not seen you in forever. Sorry, I... I... I got very surprised. This happens to me. You know, honestly, I get so into these damn visual novels. This happens in Dangarama, too. I, I just, like, get knocked off my feet because I get so into it. Emma! Girl! You are Miss Emma Skye, correct? This girl is the younger sister of my former superior, Lana Skye. Yeah, sure is. Two years ago, we stood in the same courtroom together as witness and prosecutor. Boy, Lana, that seems like forever ago now, though, doesn't it? But I thought she'd gone to Europe to study forensics. Yeah, I wonder why she's back here. I can't believe you remember me, Mr. Edgeworth. Of course I do. How have you been? You look to be in good spirits. Are you still studying abroad? You bet. More than anything, I want to investigate crime scenes scientifically. I've been studying non-stop every day to become a top-notch forensic scientist. Aw, oh, that's good. Well done. But it's spring break now, so I thought I'd come back for a bit. I see. I didn't realize there were going to be old Phoenix characters in this. I mean, obviously Gumshoe, because he's on the cover, right? But, like, I didn't realize that there, there was going to... I wonder if there's going to be any more. Don't tell me. I want to be surprised. All right, so we can talk to her first of all, so let's do that, obviously. Tell me everything. 
I almost didn't recognize you. You've really grown these past few years. Whoa, is he coming on to you? I mean, Emma is pretty. Please don't teach me, Mr. Edgeworth. I know I still have a long way to go. But I'm going to be a super forensic scientist someday, you'll see. I know you are, darling. You seem to know Mr. Edgeworth really well. Are you two acquaintances? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Emma Skye. Nice to meet you. I'm studying abroad now to be a forensic scientist. How about you? Wow, that's a great dream. My name's Kay Faraday. And I'm training to become an unstoppable great thief. A uh, great thief? Don't think too hard on it, Emma. It's not worth the trouble. Uh, not really. <laughs> In any case, we have much to catch up on. You bet we do. Girl, what's gonna be going on with you? Tell me everything. Spill the tea. So, why are you here, Emma? Well, I just happened to decide to come back home for spring break. And then I heard that you'd come back too, so I'd raced on over here. She came to see us? Aww, that's so cute. I'd really wanted to welcome you back at the airport, but I just missed you. And how exactly did you know I was here? Through the power of science, naturally. Never underestimate what science can do for you. Look at her! She's so cute. I used these to track your footprints and I followed them straight to you. We know what that is. This set is the greatest. It's so wonderfully scientific. You spray this chemical on the ground, and when you shine a special light on it, zing, the footprints light up like an electrified noble gas in a glass tube. It's almost like magic, scientifically speaking. Forensic science has never seemed more ominous to me than at this very moment. It's fine, just because she stalked you with it, don't worry about that. Alright, the witness, does she know anything about that? Is she the witness? Oh, good god. She might be. Emma, I'd like to ask you about what you witnessed. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you not the witness Detective Gumshoe told us about? Well, I did get a call from Detective Gumshoe earlier. He was practically yelling at me. Mr. Edgeworth needs your scientific doohick right now, pal, he said. What was that man thinking? Or rather, not thinking? Well, he... He wanted a forensic specialist, and I guess she was what he thought of. It's not, it's not that bad. So, let me guess. There's been a murder, right? Yes, unfortunately. There's a sudden glint in her eyes. She does get very excited, doesn't she? Oh my gosh, I am so blessed to see her again. But I need to keep my mind focused on the witness. Now, where did that person go? Wait, if she's not the witness, then who is it? Hmm. I wonder. I really was, actually, I really thought it was her. Alright, what's going on with this thing? I assume this is another badger mobile? Yeah, but it's a different color than the blue badger's car. Yes, this is the retina searing pink model. It is very pink. Pepto Bismol, indeed. Hmm? What's that off in the distance? What? Where? Hello? What are we looking at? I don't see anything. What the? Oh, hello. I don't like it. I, I'm only just seeing the sprite of it, and I already don't like it. Oh, hey! It's the pink badger! Badger get! She's gonna take a picture. Yeah. Badger, badger, badger. Just what does she see in these silly things? I don't know. I think they're creepy. I don't like it. I don't know. I'll tell you what. When that one with the soulless eyes gets all up in our face in the sprite, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna have a... I'm just gonna probably throw up. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Tough love. Why do you have a handcuff on? What the hell is happening here? I think this badger has something to say to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Do you? Are you by chance the witness I've been searching for? I don't- I don't know what that means. I don't speak mime. I don't speak creepy mime, madam or sir. I don't know who's in there. Sorry, I don't speak badger dance. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Guys, how old is that? Does anyone even know what that is? Oh my god. Uh, hello? Ma'am? Sir? Hello? They? Them? Who are you? You could be anyone. Hi there. Please don't look at me with your creepy eyes. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! Christ Almighty, you're kidding me! Jesus Christ, this fucking chapter is gonna have me reliving with everyone! Oh my god. How long has it been since I've voiced her? I don't even remember what voice I gave her. Because the first time we came across her, I had to go through like three voices before I found what I wanted. Aw, oh, crap. It's been a long- it's been years! Ah! I can't take being inside that stuffy head anymore! You're- Oh, no. Here. We. Go. No. Why her? Why here? 
Why now? Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. It's good old Wendy. Sir, this is a Wendy's? I first met this woman three years ago. She was a witness in one of my cases. How serendipitous that you would say that because I think it was three years ago that I voiced her last. She has since gone out of her way to pop up unexpectedly and cause me great grief. Why is it her? Ejipu! Why couldn't you understand what I was trying to tell you? I mean, really? I was trying so hard to keep the kids' dreams alive by staying in character. But you couldn't pick up on what I was trying to convey to you. I'm sick and tired of that roundabout way of talking, so I'm just going to be direct. She's still talking fast as usual, I see. Oh my goodness, stop huffing. You're gonna have an aneurysm. I had a bad feeling before, but this just made it official. I can't believe she's here. Today's gone beyond the typical not my day into the realm of waking nightmare. So, you're a friend of Mr. Edgeworth too, Miss Pink Badger? You could say that, but right now I'm just the Pink Badger, dearie. She may look the part, but I know better than to trust my eyes around this woman. Don't trust anything around her. She's very grabby. My name is Wendy, old bag. But you can call me Wendy or Granny or whatever suits your fancy. Oh. Okay. Nice to meet you, Miss Oldbag. I'm Kay Faraday. Eh, what do I care about a young whippersnapper like you? Wow, rude. She just made a nice introduction to you and everything. Oh, I was just trying to be polite. There you go. There's the motto for you. Never be polite to anyone. I can- I cannot believe that she is here. This is uh, completely unexpected. Emma was unexpected enough. This just blew me out of the water. God, who else are we going to meet in this? Don't answer that. Weren't you security guard at one of the Gatewater Hotels the last time we met? Yup. Huh. I go where I'm needed. I'm very good at what I do, unlike the youth of today. I get called in all the time to fill in when there aren't enough hands. Don't talk about enough hands. Please. But enough about me, Ajipu. I'm thoroughly dejected right now. I finally get the chance to see you again, and here you are talking with two young girls. Look, stop barking up that tree, all right? We all know Edgeworth ain't interested in the ladies. Men are all the same. It doesn't get upset with the young girls. Why, the other day it happened with my unit who have failed to notice me and he went and got into an arranged marriage with a 16-year-old. When he sees it at all, they say the persimmon doesn't fall far from the tree. I think that's what she said. You seem to attract all sorts of interesting people, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, please, I'm begging you. By all means, do not provoke her any further. Good lord. Oh. Well, this has turned into something. I don't know if it's good or bad yet, I'll let you know later. Aren't you forgetting about something, Mr. Edger? This person could be the witness. Honestly, I hope she isn't, but I don't think fate is going to be so kind today. She is, isn't she? God damn it. I saw what happened. Woman, you have said that in every single thing you've been in, and then you actually didn't see shit. So what is it this time? I even saw the exact moment it happened. How's that? So it's true. She is the witness. Oh, I don't suppose I can afford to ignore the old bag. Yes, it was just a little while ago. Hello, I saw it happen right in front of me. The moment of the murder. Uh-huh. You have given me this song and dance before. Well, you gave it to Phoenix, really, not Edgeworth. But still, we know. We've been new, madam. You mean to say that you witnessed someone being killed right before your eyes? Sounds like a pretty important piece of testimony to me. Oh, here we- Woman, no, don't give me that glare. What old bag witnessed? Here. We. Go. I came to the stadium to take a short break. As I was resting, I happened to glance over and I saw two men facing each other in that area. Suddenly, there was a loud gunshot and the person who shot fell to the ground. Who was shot? You mean to say this happened in front of a million fucking people here? I don't think so. It was a very terrifying experience, let me tell you. What? It looks like we hit the jackpot, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, I can't afford to ignore what she has to say. Unfortunately. Same. What's that unfortunately you tacked on at the end? Supposed to be an poo? Well, anyway, let's see what we can find out from this little old lady. Alright, here we go. I don't want to think about your buttle, honestly. Like, it's not really what I'd plan to do today. Came to the stadium to take a short break. Tell me everything. You mean you took a break from being the Pink Badger? You may not think it, but it's hard work keeping kids' dreams alive. God, can you imagine if they saw you coming out of that costume later? You smell of sweat, your hip creaks with pain, you even begin to dream about work. Ew. That's the kind of story that would scar a child for life, you know? Well, that's why I chose to come take my break here, Whippersnapper. 
I don't plan on playing the part of the dead badger in front of a bunch of kids. Is this place supposed to be like remote, like and deserted? Because it's, I don't know, isn't it part of the theme park? I guess. So what did you see while you, the pink badger, were resting? Oh yes, that, well. As I was resting, I happened to glance over and I saw two men facing each other in that area. Okay. You saw two men. Can you describe them for me? Eh, they look like your average Joes, completely uninteresting and not worth farming over. I'm telling you, they were so boring that I don't even remember much beyond that. Great. That doesn't help us at all. But did they have any special features? Anything you can recall would be very helpful. Oh my, don't tell me you're jealous of those two men. Hey, she's right. You do seem pretty worked up over them, Mr. Edgeworth. Faye. Faye. Her name's not Faye. Her name's Kay. It's the same thing, really. Don't start. I'm not worked up over anyone, and I'm not jealous. It's all right, A.G. Poo. Those two were just foals compared to a stallion like you. Oh. <laughs> I thought so little of them that I lost interest the instant I laid eyes on them. Great. Suddenly there was a loud gunshot and the person who was shot fell to the ground. And you were somehow the only person that saw that? You're claiming to have seen the exact moment in which the murder took place? Absolutely! That gun made a terrible racket when it was fired! You didn't try to go help the person that got shot? I'm only one person, you smart alecky brat! What could I have done? But I took off as soon as I could, could to find someone who could help! Two men, one bullet. It's all consistent with what we found out from the body. Wait a minute, I haven't... Oh, I didn't present anything, but I don't think I have anything to present. Sadly, there wasn't exactly a lot of new information to go on in your testimony. Well, if I saw the guy again, I'm sure I could identify him for you. I mean, how do you expect me to remember anything without something to jog my memory? Like what? Self-centered, aren't we? I mean, we could show her the body if we're able to get back there, I guess. While it was somewhat useful, her testimony also presents us with a new problem. Mr. Edgeworth! Yes? So, about this new problem... What is that giant grin on your face for? <laughs> Do you want me to show you something really nice? Whoa! No, not here in front of everyone. Jeez. Calm yourself. No, thank you. Don't be so mean! I swear it's something you're gonna like! What is it? What is that gadget you're holding? What you see before you is the secret weapon of a great thief. Uh, I should have known it would be worthless. Oh, don't be like that. <clears throat> Whoa! Okay, that's pretty cool. What do you think now? What is it doing? It's projecting something into the air? I'm gonna input the necessary information to run the simulation now. Jesus Christ, this hacker girl. Once I'm done, I'll increase the size of the projection to its maximum size. Dark skies of evening, when no other bird dares take wing. One alone remains all-seeing. Now, witness the true power of a real modern-day Robin Hood. What is... Whoa. What my... My God. Jesus Christ, we're in the Matrix. What is this? Either that or we're in Danganronpa, because that looks like two murderers right there. This is a recreation of the murder based on the info I inputted into the Little Thief. Little Thief? I dare say I think you're taking the Robin Hood thing a bit too far. Little Thief is actually meant to be a simulator for me to plan my thefts. But, I suppose if I used it like this... Let's see, Miss Olbeck said the two men were facing each other. And then, a gunshot rang out and the victim fell to the ground. Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, so with this we can expect the crime scene as it was in the past. Yeah, but it's only going off testimony. How is that going to bear any weight? See? What do you think? I have to say I'm impressed by the technology thieves have access to these days. Well, it is the super secret weapon of the mighty Yatagarasu. Indeed. Oh, but if there isn't enough information or if something is out of place, the recreation could come out a little strange. You don't say. In other words... Oh, oops. In other words, I can use this to authenticate the validity of a witness's testimony. You got it. You really catch on quick, Mr. Edgeworth. Right now, the simulation is a recreation of that witness's testimony. So for now, I should re-examine everything. How is this going to help in any way? I don't understand. I mean, I get it, what they mean, but in theory, in real life, no, Judge Judy would not have anything to do with this. She would throw this out of court. If I find anything illogical or strange, I can then ask for clarification. Yeah, but it's all based on whether your person's telling the truth. 
Feel free to examine anything in the simulation the way you always do. You can even present evidence when you find a contradiction. And if you find something, I've got Little Thief with me, so you just let me know, okay? All right. Oh, we're, we actually are gonna begin this investigation like this. This is so strange. All right. Well, I don't know if we have anything to talk to Kay about just yet, but this is very important. Emma. This is amazing! Just feel the power of science. Girl, I'm feeling it. Are you? Girl. Emma. Look at this badge. Sorry, I had to sneeze. This is the symbol of a prosecutor, right? But I don't think I've ever seen you wear it, though. Well, I'm not as enthusiastic about wearing it as you are with your pin badges. Hey, those are cute. I know, right? I mean, I really wanted to put even on a few more today. Oh, hey! I like yours, Kay. Do you have any extras? Sorry, there's only one of these in the world and it's proof that I am a great thief. Oh, well. That's all I wanted to say, really. I just wanted to present that to her. And you know what? Because she's here, we have to do this as well. Because I told you I would do this. What is this? Some sort of new attraction? Don't worry about it. Honey, just take your teeth out and don't worry about a thing. But also, look at this badge! Oh, go on, Ichiku, show me anything and I'll tell you all about it. Ew, no, no. No, that's a euphemism. Very well, what do you think about this? It's nothing special. Oh. Get wrecked. Somehow I figured she'd say as much. Fine! You know who else isn't special? Your dumb face, that's right, I said it. Alright, fine, so let's go ahead and examine... I guess just like this. How the fuck are we gonna find anything from here, though? This is so weird. According to the testimony, the victim fell to the ground here. That's right, but... But, if that's the case, then we've already found our first contradiction. Oh. Okay. Huh? What? Where? If this is the real scene of the crime, there's something missing that should be here. What, like the gun? Which piece of evidence shows the missing item? Hmm, what do we have? Pamphlet, head, rally, pendant, murder notes. What's in the murder notes again? <clears throat> Sorry, body was moved, shot through ABD's shoulder. Um, right, lack of blood around the body suggests the victim was killed elsewhere and then moved. There should be evidence of blood at the real- Oh, there should be evidence of blood at the real murder site, but does that count in this case? Because we're- I mean, theoretically, we're just showing where the bodies are. She didn't mention any blood, but maybe he's saying she was supposed to mention that? Let's try it. Oh. This is the contradiction. Eh? Uh, is something wrong with my recreation? If this is the real scene of the crime, something specific should be here. If you think back, how do we deduce that the other crime scene was not the real one? Oh! I get what's missing now. There's no blood on the ground here either, right? Well, to be fair, though, it's because she didn't mention it. Right, the fact that there's no blood here cast doubt on the witness's testimony. Edgy Poo, how can you doubt me like that? Are you calling me a liar? I know what I saw, and I saw the victim get shot down. You know, I don't think she's lying, Mr. Edgeworth. To be honest, I can't think of a reason why she would lie to me. In that case, maybe there's another explanation for the distinct lack of blood. Oh, why is there no blood around the victim's prone body? Okay, got that. Right. Let's examine this. It's the silhouette of the killer with his gun at the ready. Okay, is it not possible to recreate the face of the killer? Well, I can't exactly input what we don't know into Little Thief. She has a point. Oh, that's it? Okay, that's it. Um, wait, is there anything else? What's over here? Looks like they broke the stage down. Oh, stage was packed up. The stage I saw this morning in the center of the stadium has been packed away. Oh, I guess that's why there's maybe nobody here. Okay. Hmm. I guess that means they're done for the day. Or maybe it's because a different show is scheduled to start its run tomorrow. Hmm. What do you think, darling? Yes. Recreation. Tell me about that. So, you believe that this gadget will provide us with the proof we need? Yeah, of course. Pretty neat, huh? By inputting info like this, it can recreate the crime scene exactly as it was. Although, Little Thief was originally intended to be a training sim for heists. A training sim for thievery? I don't believe I can turn a deaf ear to that. Aw, it's for practice. Practice. It's not like I've actually stolen anything yet. Besides, we're in the middle of an investigation, so stop nitpicking. 
Even if it is just practice, I can't exactly endorse the act of stealing. It's just like freaking Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Do you guys remember that game? Man, I played that a lot. I don't know why. I really liked Metal Gear back in the day. Although admittedly, this device is rather useful in an investigation. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, using Little Thief, okay. So, how am I supposed to use this to aid my investigation? Oh, that's right. I guess I should explain how to use it, huh? Objects outlined in yellow are things that are not present in our time, but were in the past. Things outlined in a dotted line are things that exist now, but didn't in the past. I see. You can examine and interact with replicated people and objects as you normally do. You can even present evidence whenever you find an inconsistency. Oh, and be sure to point out mistakes in the recreation with evidence, too. Hmm, very well, let's continue with the investigation. If there's something you don't get about Little Thief, feel free to ask anytime, okay? I will. Thanks, darling. Right, so... <clears throat> oh, I thought this was like something on the floor, never mind. Hmm... Is there anything else we can examine first off? No... Talk, talk... There's nothing really, so does that mean we have logic we can put together? Let's take a look. What do we have? Victim was kidnapper. Following a kidnapper's prints lead us to a body. Was the victim in a costume? <gasps> was the victim in a costume? Wait a minute. That could be it right there. I, I'm doing it. I didn't even, I didn't even think, is there a bloody costume somewhere? Oh, that's gonna be it. It's gotta be. Aha. Is it not possible that the victim was wearing a costume? It feels weird, though, that Old Bag wouldn't have said that specifically. You really think that Mr. Deacon was one of those kidnappers? I think we can reasonably assume there's a very good chance that he was. Oh, so what I said before might be holding some weight, that the butler did it. I always say. And that if he was shot while he was inside one of those stolen costumes? Then Mr. Deacon's blood would be inside the costume instead of on the ground. Precisely. Now, if only we could prove that the victim was wearing a costume. You'd think that it'd be pretty easy if we could find some footprints. But the problem is finding them since there doesn't seem to be any around. Well, that's... Oh, well, Emma's right here. That's why she's here. To get the footprints with the luminol. Footprints, eh? I wonder how we can go about finding some of those. Ask Emma. All right, let's go talk to her. That must be what we do. Darling, we need your help. This is amazing. Oh yeah, she already said that. All right, footprint analysis. Emma, about that method you were talking about for finding footprints? Ah, finally my expert knowledge in forensics is needed. Yes, well, can you detect and trace even partial footprints? Leave it to me. My cutting edge detection kit can find anything. Very well. If you could please analyze the footprints in this area. Okay, stand back now and witness the power, see the power of the science. Here it goes. <clears throat> and then hopefully this will recreate them. She did that very quickly. Oh wait, no, she just turned it off. Oh, look at her spraying the- Her music! <laughs> Guys, I'm getting all nostalgic! <laughs> I love this series so much. It sucks that sometimes I play them too sporadically so I forget what actually happens, but no, I didn't forget with Emma. I love her. Hey, I found something, look right here! I don't see anything. Oh, that's right. Here, put these special glasses on, Mr. Edgeworth. Can we see him in the glasses? Oh man. These footprints here were definitely left by a badger costume. Judging by the way the prints are layered, this seems to be the newest. Then we can conclude that the victim was definitely wearing a costume at the time. Wait a minute though, Old Bag is here in a costume as well. Be careful there. We don't want to get stuck with that. Victim's costume, okay. Okay, in that case, I'll update Little Thief's simulation parameters. I can't wait to see what we find out from this new info. Let's see it. Alright, recreation. Oh, look at them. Edgeworth, you're standing on the evidence, boy. Oh, that... Oh. That was it? It's complete already. Okay. So, the victim was wearing a costume when he died. And with that, we should be one step closer to the truth, right? Hmm... I see the recreation has changed in accordance with the new information. We may be closer, but now something else has caught my attention. Yeah, I see too. Hmm. Alright. What do you want? 
Your testimony, naturally. I'd like to hear it one more time, if you please. Alright. Oh, we're doing this, are we? What old bag witnessed. Here we go again. I came to the stadium to take a short break. As I was resting, I happened to glance over and I saw two men facing each other. Suddenly, there was a loud gunshot and the person who was shot fell to the ground. This is all the same. Hmm. It was a very terrifying experience, let me tell you. Right. So it's all the same now. Oh! Wait a minute, I think there is a contradiction. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? In the next one, I'm going to point it out to you. That's right. I can't believe that in one episode, we got Emma and Old Bag here. That is amazing to me. I'm having so much fun with this. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo!